homesteading to prepping to common horse sense, we are College Hill Farm. Welcome back to College Hill Farm. Well, I'm putting on my tiller, and uh, when it's the first part of the year, this right here has been setting out all winter. Okay, this is your PTO shaft. Now, the PTO shaft where it connects, been sitting out all winter. What you don't want to do, you don't want to take this PTO shaft that's been sitting out all winter and connect it to that. Because this has, has had old grease on it, and it's got stuff in it, and you will wind up, that will get stuck. So what you want to do is put new grease in there. But my grease gun is out. Okay. My grease gun is empty. This goes all the way to the bottom without any problem. So I've got it pulled back. So I'm just going to take the top off of the grease gun. Just unscrew it. And even though it's empty, look right there. There's plenty of grease for greasing that. I need to grease the, the fittings, but that'll have to wait till I can get grease. I'm just plowing enough to uh, plant some onions. So... And I just use my finger, get some grease on there, and put it on the on this. And I'll show you when I get on there. Okay, got it. Now I'll put this back on. Wipe my hands off and show you what I what I did. You should do this every spring with every implement, okay, that you're going to attach to your PTO. Uh, it doesn't say to do it in any of the PTO manuals, but after 58 years, I'm telling you, that's what you need to do. Uh, because what happens is that grease that was on there over the winter, it kind of solidifies, and your PTO shaft will get stuck. Let me show you what I did. Now, I took pains to make sure that there was fresh grease in every spline. That makes it so that when this PTO shaft gets on there, it's not, uh, not going to get stuck in that old grease and, and uh, old sticky stuff. The grease gets sticky after a winter, so you want it to be nice and smooth. Okay.